Hi, it's Jonathan Cotton with the Good Feet Store, and you know what time of year it is. It's back to school time, and time once again for all of those after school activities. Whether it's ballet or football, drama or field hockey, band or basketball, kids' feet need to feel good. Those cleats, sneakers, or shoes for band often don't do those young feet any favors. If our kids are going to stay active and healthy, then they need good feet. That means it's also time to take your kids to the Good Feet Store. Yeah, that's right, the young ones, the kids. Bring them into the Good Feet Store and let's treat them to some personal service. Our team members will measure their feet and find the right art support for them. They can still wear the shoes they want, but they will have the support to make them comfortable now and keep their feet healthy for the future. It won't take long and it could change their life. Go to goodfeet.com to make an appointment or just stop by the location nearest you, the Good Feet Store. Welcome back to Daybreak USA. I am Chris O'Sullivan with your look at weather. Of course, obviously, as we know, the big story coming out of the Pacific Northwest is the scorching heat between Portland and Seattle. And speaking of Seattle, it'll be clear today, bright sunshine and a high of 102. A little south to the Portland, same, clear skies, high of 106. Please, if you're in the Portland, Seattle area, stay cool and listen to the vital information to keep yourself healthy and your family. Heading down the coastline to San Francisco, we're looking at a hot, clear skies and a high of 82. San Jose, clear skies, high of 77. Los Angeles, clear sky and 94. Las Vegas, you will be rolling the dice at 97, clear skies. Moving right over to the Lone Star State in Dallas, chance of rain, 84. San Antonio, chance of rain, 86. Houston, chance of rain, high of 77. Oklahoma City, you will be looking at 75 with a chance of rain. Moving over to Florida, Miami, partly sunny, high of 86. Jacksonville, partly sunny, high of 84. Boston, clear skies, 20 mile per hour winds to the northeast, high of 93. New York City, clear sunny skies, high of 91. And that's a look at today's weather here on Daybreak USA. And now we head over to the sports desk. And now taking a look at sports, the Milwaukee Bucks have taken a 2-1 lead in their Eastern Conference Final with the Atlanta Hawks, dispatching Atlanta Sunday in Game 3, 113-102. Chris Middleton led all scores with 38 points and 11 rebounds, 20 of his points coming in the fourth quarter. Giannis Antetokounmpo added 33 points and 11 boards of his own. Game 4 is Tuesday night in Atlanta. In the major leagues, Vlad Guerrero Jr. notched two RBIs to extend his league lead to 66 as the Blue Jays knocked off the Orioles 5-2. Shohei Otani launched his 25th homer of the year as the Angels beat the Rays 6-4. The Braves shut out the Reds 4-0. Robbie Grossman drove in the winning run with a squeeze bunt in the top of the 10th inning as the Astros beat the Tigers 2-1. The Red Sox completed their weekend sweep of the Yankees with a 9-2 route. The Phillies down the Mets 4-2. The Nationals bested the Marlins 5-1. The Brewers completed a sweep of the Rockies with a 5-0 shutout. The Pirates topped the Cardinals 7-2. The Twins beat the Indians 8-2. The Rangers dispatched the Royals 4-1. Cole Irvin struck out 8 as the A's beat the Giants 6-2. And Mariners pitcher Hector Santiago was ejected during Seattle's 7-5 loss to the White Sox for allegedly having a foreign substance in his glove. He's the first pitcher tossed from a game under the new rule. And at the U.S. Olympic track and field trials, Sydney McLaughlin broke the world record in the women's 400-meter hurdles, booking a spot on the team heading to Tokyo next month. McLaughlin's time of 51.9 seconds makes her the first woman to break the 52-second barrier in the event. The previous record holder, Dahlia Muhammad, finished second. And that's a look at sports. Hi, this is Dr. Joel Wallach, a veterinarian physician and founder of Yongevity, great, great nutritional company, based on 90 for Life. 90 essential nutrients, all vertebrates, whether you're a wombat, an elephant, a giraffe, an ostrich, a human being, a monkey, a cow, a dog or a cat, doesn't matter. All vertebrates require 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 minerals, and 3 fatty acids. They help prevent birth defects. There are no genetic birth defects. That's my thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute of National Treasure. There are no genetically transmitted diseases. They're all nutritional deficiency diseases. That's why my thesis is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure. I want you to get on the 90 for Life program, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, 3 fatty acids, and don't forget the rebound or sports drink. And don't forget, you need your immune system because of all this pandemic virus stuff going around. And so contact us at usaradiohealth.com. Contact us at usaradiohealth.com.
The old way of living with diabetes is a pain. You've got to remember to do your testing, and you always need to be sticking your fingers. The new way to live your life with diabetes is with a continuous glucose monitor. You simply apply a discreet, easy-to-use sensor on your body, and it continuously monitors your glucose levels, helping you spend more time in range and freeing you from painful finger pricks. If you test your blood sugar at least four times per day and inject insulin at least three times per day or use an insulin pump and have private insurance or Medicare, you might be eligible for a CGM with little or no cost to you. Call U.S. Medical Supply today for a free benefits check. We offer free shipping, 90-day supplies, and we bill Medicare or your insurance directly. Call now and say goodbye to finger pricks. 800-763-1954. 800-763-1954. 800-763-1954. That's 800-763-1954. Welcome back. Ray gets to say it for the first oh. time of the morning. Oh. It's 23 oh. minutes to the hour. Place your next humping day <coughs> hour here. Oh. That's right, it is hump day. It's all downhill from here. Oh. Hey. Now, <laughs> the saddest part maybe in this whole... First of all, 400 new arrests in the last 24 hours by the FBI, the Capitol Police, and all the bodies that are embodied with this case. 400 arrests. Now, the first 100 were low-lying fruit. They were people that were taking selfies and posting them and were well-known as Way to go, local heroes and everything like that for their stance. So they were easy. But now they're getting the tougher ones. And... A new charge is being added to a lot of them, inciting riots, which is a federal crime, and is also, when you do it on a federal building, considered treason, and there still is the death penalty in this country for treason. Treason? How can you, how can they say that? They're patriots. Right. So, anyhow, the charges are... Very great, but so now there's over 500 arrests in this case, and you're saying that the lower level of people committed treason. Well, then what if you walk up the ladder and go to the main problem, the source of the problem? How can you not charge the president with treason. If you're going to do this to the buck private, the sergeant, the lieutenant, the captain, and the leader of the gang there, he said he was going to march with them. To me, that is a call to battle. Oh, yeah. And No question. uh, So if, in fact, you're going to charge these underlings with treason or sedition or whatever you want to call it you're going to have to charge the president with that too and I am sure that there is no pardon state or federal that you can pardon yourself against a charge of treason I looked in the law books last night for it could not find one anyway I'm sure there's a legal eagle out there with a lot more experience than myself. and um, But nevertheless, now, once again, I like the fact that Joe Biden is not dabbling in this thing. I do, too. Cause it, we, it's we so need secondary. A, we need the seems... president to get yes. along with work. Now, I, I want to play a little bit of uh, Dr. Fauci because one of the scary byproducts of this whole situation is that the underlings are so desirous to get close to the kingpin, the godfather, the leader of the pack, that he says, let's play hide and seek. And they say, oh, that would be great. And then he said, okay, all of you tell me where you're going to hide. And they do. And then he says, okay, everybody hide. And now he can find every one of them. 
but it leads to the other side of the fence. Listen to Dr. Fauci. I just said, oh, my goodness gracious, I could just see what's going to happen. You're going to have people who hear that from the president are going to start doing dangerous and foolish things, which is the reason why immediately those of us who were not there um, said this is something you should not do. Be very explicit. The CDC came out, I think, the next day and put in one of their publications, do not do this. I got asked on a number of shows, (laughs) certainly on CNN, and I said, absolutely, this is not what you want to do. It did. In fact, what it did to me is to just underscore the intensity of the divisiveness in our society. Because if merely articulating a commonly held public health message of something that every public health official in the country would agree with, because I articulate that publicly, if that triggers death threats against me, harassment of my family, my children and my wife, somebody sending me an envelope (coughs) with powder that explodes in my face to scare me and my family. Boy, that tells you the depth of the divisiveness. And then January 6th, to me, was like, oh, my goodness, here it is in its ultimate. It's purely a reflection of divisiveness that is such so deep that it's disturbing. And to me, you know, as as a person who... You know, I don't want to seem melodramatic, who loves our country. I just see that being nothing but destructive, and it's very scary. Let me give you a little background on the interview there, because it's kind of choppy what he was talking about. He was originally talking about the injecting of Clorox when the president came out and said, Suggested that might, that might be a cure. And the CDC did come out the next day and said, don't do it. And I went to the store four days later, and guess what there wasn't on the shelf? Well, okay, but I'll play not necessarily devil's advocate, but I will say Clorox has been impossible to get for a while now. Well, yes, but that was a long time ago he said that. Okay, it was directly related to that. And it was specifically Clorox. You could get store brand bleach, Mm -hmm. you could get other bleaches, but they wanted the good stuff that they were going to mainline it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the next thing, he literally got a letter at his house and opened it, and it exploded in his face. And he didn't know if it was ricin. Sure. He didn't know whether or not it was... uh, um, something that could get into his lungs and kill him, or if it was just a harmless powder. And it turned out, luckily, it was a harmless powder. But can you imagine what it's like to be a father, a doctor? And and he said it very well. He said, I wanted to be a doctor all my life, and I wanted to save lives and help people. It was no factor for me to go back to work the next day and try to do that, even though I didn't believe in it. But my family didn't opt in for this. My kids yeah, didn't. Right. Can you imagine having to worry about your kids going to school? Because, A, they could be kidnapped, they could be shot at, called names. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is how dangerous misinformation is. It's how dangerous hate is also. Hate and, the, and ignorance. Uh, they go together hand in hand. Okay, when we come back, we'll talk about the big eye impeachment. Uh, On Daybreak USA. Welcome back. If you only knew what we were doing in the parade. I hope our engineer is still okay. (laughs) Captain Chris? I, 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 you oh, okay? this modern technology, right? I know. We have gone too we're far. We're so lucky to have We'll had let it. everybody in on the joke because it's not good to have inside jokes on radio shows. But we shared through modern telephony, known as the interweb thing, a picture <laughs> technology, of the girl. Technology, not telephony. I, well, it's partly telephony. Okay. You know. well, okay. All right. I showed Chris a picture of the girl who killed. This army veteran who who dedicated yes said he his w- life right would give fought his life ISIS no to less this country to protect people and he gets taken out th- by this girl 
who has ugly on reserve. Okay. Well, now, come on. That was her mugshot. She was probably a doll when she got herself all I'm made up. I'm sure that she was just beautiful when she was made up. Yeah. So was Peter Boyle and Young Frankenstein. But that's another story for another <laughs> another time. By uh, the way, all right, I'm going to I'm going to pull you out before you get yourself into what, trouble what? if it's not too late already. No. Uh, Radio Shack is being kind of reborn, remember? Oh, good, because yes. there's some things I need, and I've been waiting to get them. Until oh, they went okay. Back uh, it will be called uh, Radio Shack Express, uh-huh. a store within a store. They ha- they, they're in cahoots now with 100 Hobbytown stores across the U.S. Well, Hobbytown so the, is owned by the Tandy Corporation, which is the original leather company. I've never heard that. of, oh, yeah, um, I've never heard of Hobbytown. I've yeah. heard of the other... Hobby store, but not Hobby Town. Yeah, Hobby Town. That's, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so there'll be a store within a store, and they're going to uh, try it out in 100 of the 150 stores. Well, if you're into radio or into oh, audio of any and kind, and need for some the home. cheap gadgets to, I need a connector, a connector for this. There's nowhere they're to go great. anymore. Yeah, you're right. Because Walmart can't carry all the variety there are. Anymore. Oh, not like Radio Shack no, did. Like no, Radio they Shack. they really did serve a purpose. I'm st- I'm still kind of surprised they went out of business. No, it's simple. They I were didn't. useful. Yeah, but but they they almost had it and they didn't. They started having a catalog and you could oh. order out of the catalog, but they never really pushed it. And the other thing was that I think a lot of people didn't like is whenever you went in there, they wanted your phone number and your address so they could send you their mailer. Well, people, when they go in to buy something, yeah, please aren't don't, in the mood to be right. sucked dry for information. i, I got to play this clip because okay. I put it off like four times. You know, we talked yesterday about Caitlin Collins being ostracized from the press corps and asking yes. – and not admitted when the European Union commissioner and the president spoke on the White House lawn. Well – What was the reason why she was barred was from an earlier, it's not a conversation, so I can't call it that. We'll just play it. Here are the questions that Caitlin Collins asked that got her barred Uh, from the White House lawn ceremony yesterday. Did Michael Cohen betray you, Mr. President? Thank you, everybody. Mr. President. Did Michael Cohen betray you? Are you leaning towards tariffs on Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, are you worried about what Michael Cohen is going to say to prosecutors? Thank you, Caitlin. Let's keep going. Are you worried about what is on the other tapes, Mr. President? Thank you all. Let's keep going. Thank you, everybody. Why has Vladimir Putin not accepted your invitation? Let's keep going. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. Come on, guys. Thank you very much. Why has Vladimir Putin not accepted your invitation, Mr. President? That's right. Thank you. And the bottom line is, he didn't answer the question. No. No. I... Once again, those and inmi- those uh, exactly those types of questions are going to be on the docket no. for him for a while now. No, those are the exact questions that Americans want to hear the answers that's right. to. That's right. And okay. good reporters ask those kinds of questions. And if that's what's going to get you, if and once again, I'm not saying that repeating the same question and yelling it at somebody four times in a row is ethical or not ethical. I don't uh, really agree with the approach methodology, but I do agree that those are the questions that the people of America wanted to know yesterday. Mm -hmm. And she asked the question. I don't think it was that bad. And personally, I think that if you are in a position that you have to answer the, the questions of the press, you need a little thicker skin than to have something that lightweight bother you. And, it, and really, when I stopped and thought about it and heard it again, poor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, which is a sentence I never thought I would put together in my life, she goes through 10 times that every day in her job. Oh. If, if, if that's what it took to get barred from the, the morning gaggle, Right. Sarah would be by herself, okay, because everybody right. would have been barred from yeah. it. 
Yeah. I mean, that was lightweight stuff. Yeah, they, this isn't a game of softball. But Sarah Sanders puts up with that kind of every, every day. day. And so for this to get under the skin of somebody enough to say, we don't want them at the press meeting with the guy. Was she a, was somebody afraid that she was going to yell that stuff again? And yelling might even be extreme. Trying to get your voice heard over, over other 30 others. other voices right. is all that was. Amazing. We're Rod Ray. We have to step aside for this cause for the pause. And we'll be back with more on Daybreak USA. Attention! Sorry I'm talking a little loud because I want to reach people with a hearing problem. Do you want to hear better for just $299? Yes, not thousands, but for $299. You can hear all the sounds you've been missing for years. Hearing Help Express has been helping people hear better, selling top quality hearing aids for over 30 years. Now is your best chance to hear better with hearing aids for $299 with our free 45-day home trial offer. And you don't even need to leave your home or get a hearing test. Call now to start your free 45-day risk-free home trial offer. All it takes is a free hearing consultation. Learn how Hearing Help Express can improve the quality of your life with better hearing. Call now. 800-516-7448. 800-516-7448. 800-516-7448. That's 800-516-7448. With a recession ending, if you've been putting off building your business, now is the time to act. General Steel will meet or beat any price on a pre-engineered steel building of the same size and specifications. Act now before steel prices go up. So call us today for free information. Call 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. The following update is for drivers who pay too much for car insurance due to DUIs, DWIs, tickets, or anything else. Our company specializes in low-cost SR22 auto insurance. We know that mistakes happen and offer free quotes for very affordable auto insurance meant specifically for you, the overpaying high-risk driver. The quote is free and we'll handle the filing so you can start saving money. Call 800-758-0725. 800-758-0725. 800 758 0725. Welcome back. Daybreak USA. I am taking over. What? I am taking okay. over because I have to. Okay. I just can't even go there. No, okay. But it's four minutes before the top of the hour. If you need to be somewhere, now by all minutes. means, shake a leg. Yeah, what and, do you got? Yes. Uh, 2018 Triple Crown winner Justify has officially been retired because of fluid in his left front ankle. Trainer Bob Baffert said he and the horse's owners couldn't determine if he would be healthy enough to race by the fall and instead chose to call it a career for the historic horse. He's just not responding quick enough for a fall campaign, Baffert said. We all wanted to see Justify run again, but ultimately it is his responsibility to make sure he's perfect without 60 to 90 days. He said he just can't be definite. Well, first of all, let's be perfectly frank here. When they say it's not the money, it's, it's always, always the money. It's always the money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justify was sold uh, to a, a bloodstock group that would be a breeding organization yes. in uh-huh. par- horse race parlance for $100 million. So that piece of horse flesh wow. is worth $100 million. I haven't heard that if term he, in a while. If he raced in the fall, it would be to be in the Breeders' Cup Championship, which is a race that the purse is $5 million. Wow. That, mis- that means that if he won that race, a very prestigious race, mm-hmm. no question, he would receive $2.5 million. Okay. After shipping him to the race, after paying the jockey, after paying the trainer and everything else, probably clear money from Mm. the purse at Mm. about $2 million. Okay, the horse is worth $100 million at stud, stud and and this race is worth $2 million. Would you you risk $100 million to make $2 million? No, No. No. he'll look just as pretty in the pasture. 
Uh, and and once again, um, this is a horse that has a lot going for it in the breeding shed oh, because I can his prodigy have done very well as breeders. Obviously, they bred a Triple Crown winner. And second of all, the fact that this horse, and this is maybe the key, this horse was never defeated on the racetrack. He ends up his career eight starts, eight wins. So if he went out Beautiful. and was 50% of himself and got beaten by a nose and became eight for nine, that's, yeah, right. that, that hurts his, his record, right? Right, his exactly. legacy. We're Rod and Ray. The hour has come and gone way too quick, quickly. We thank you for being there on Daybreak USA. might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. Hey, the Property Brothers have a new streaming home on Discovery Plus. Start your free trial now so you can stream every show they've ever done. On a scale of one to a gazillion, how excited are you? Every demo, every hurdle, every miraculous reveal. This is oh, amazing. This is From their very first episode to now and everything in between. On Discovery Plus. The streaming home of the Property Brothers plus so much more is Discovery, Discovery Plus. Plus. Shall we do this? Stream now for just 4.99.